There are three things that I love in life. My family, smelly cheeses and Canva. So that's the app that we're going to use today in this super simple, really quick tutorial. I'm going to show you how to add text behind an object using Canva. Now this is used a lot in YouTube thumbnails especially, but you can do it for any kind of graphic design. It just adds a little bit of depth and dimension and increases that wow factor with your graphics. And the best bit is most people assume that you've got to be some kind of ninja level Photoshop expert. You actually don't, it's a really simple thing to do. And anyone can do this, even if you don't have that background and expertise in graphic design. All you need to do is watch the next couple of minutes. And I'm not just gonna show you one way of doing it, I'm gonna show you two. Okay, so we've just opened up Canva. Now at the top, you've got a few suggestions here for templates, but you can also click on any of these or type in, depending on what kind of uh, content that you wish to create. I'm gonna create a YouTube thumbnail. So I'm just gonna click on that and that'll load up the blank template. Now, if you've never used this for thumbnails before, you do get tons of templates that you can repurpose on the side, but we're gonna start from scratch using this blank template. Now on the left hand side, I'm just gonna go across to uploads and I'm gonna put my own image on here. Now if you wish to upload your own file, it's really simple. You can click on upload files, find the file that you wish to upload and then press open and it will appear on this little um, kind of column here with all of your previous images or videos or audio, you've got different tabs there. Or you can make it even easier and you can simply have the uh, window open that's got the file that you want and just drag and drop it into here and it'll show on the left hand side like so. Now I'm just gonna delete that one because I'm gonna use one of these images we've already uploaded. I'm gonna use this one to show you the first way that we can add text behind the uh, person. So we've got this uh, model looking lady here and we're gonna put some text in behind her. Now in a moment, I'm gonna set this as the background image, but before I do that, I want to duplicate this image so we've got two of the exact same thing. So there we go, we've got that one there. Now I'm actually gonna Click on this one behind and I'm gonna right click and then click on set image as background. So if I just drag this one out of the way, you can see we've got duplicate images there but one's bigger than the other. So I'm now gonna drag this up into the corner and we're gonna kind of resize it manually so I've got two identical images. Now the reason I didn't set the image as background and then duplicate it is it doesn't really let you. So you almost have to duplicate it when it's um, kind of a standalone image if you like. So using these corner circles, that allows us to drag and just expand that. So we've now got two images that are the same size. And what I'm gonna do is using the uh, edit photo effects, we've got this BG remover. Now, I use a paid version of Canva because I use it for all sorts. I think it's well worth the money. And you can see this little crown here, that means that it's a paid feature. If you don't wanna pay for this, that's fine. If you Google remove background from image, there are tons of options. I mean, we've got remove BG, you can upload an image and it'll remove the background for free. You can even do it on this Adobe Express, drag your image over. And all you would do is you'd use one of these third party sites. Um, most phones even have the option to do it now. And then in Canva, you would just import the original version and the version without the background as well. But I'm gonna do it within Canva because it's as simple as going to edit photo, click on BG remover, and hopefully it should just do it itself. So that may not look like it's done much, but if you click on this um, this button in the middle, you can see there, if there's any bits that we wanna fine tune that it's maybe cut out accidentally or needs adding back in, you can change between these brushes and you can actually restore parts as well. And just to prove a point, if I click and hold the mouse button down, do you see how we've got the two separate images now? So I just need to make sure I line that back up. So as simple as that really, I talked a lot, but it was basically just click on one button. Next, we're gonna to go to text and I'm just gonna choose heading and I'm just gonna put something really, really creative and original. I'm just gonna type Paris. Now, Paris is quite a short word and this is quite a big image. So I'm just gonna change this to um, like a tall, narrow font so that we can make it quite wide. I'm gonna use Anton. And again, I'm just gonna click on it and click on this corner and drag it. So that should do what we need it to do. Um, obviously at the moment it's in front of the person so you can't see uh, can't see that lady's face. So let's change the color of this. I'm gonna change it to white. 
I'm going to click on effects as well. I'm going to add a slight lift to that. See how um, if I just turn this down, see how it puts like a little bit of um, darkness behind it. It just makes it pop slightly. And the next thing we're going to do is we need to push that backwards. If you think of this as different layers, we're going to click on position. I'm going to send it backwards. And there you go. It kind of blocks out the Eiffel Tower, but it's just an example image. So it's as simple as that, really. You've then got the text behind the person. It adds a little bit of depth and it just gives you a few more creative options. But that's not the only way to do it because Canva is pretty awesome and they've invented loads of different kind of tools over the last 12 months, especially. So I'm going to click on Add Page and we'll start again on a new one. I'm going to go to Upload from the images that I uploaded before and let's choose this one. So this one, I'm not going to duplicate. I'm just going to right click, set image as background, and that's just one image there. And we want to write almost like she's looking at the letters. So the way we do this is we go to Edit Photo, and Canva released this AI function called Magic Grab. It's a really good little uh, feature. So if we click on that, it should go away and do what it needs to do. And see how it's put this box around the person? It kind of looks at what the main uh, the main part of that image is like at the forefront and it, it, it kind of separates it itself. So if you wanted now, if I click and drag, it actually, see how it kind of like intelligently backfills what was behind the, the lady. So that photo, it's almost backfilled her and separated her so we can move her along. But that works in our favor for other things. So I'm just gonna, can't remember where about she was, but I'm just gonna drop her down there. And then it's the exact same process, text, heading, and I'm going to keep it really creative and original again because um, that's what I'm all about. And we're going to change the font there to Anton again. We're going to make this much bigger. I'm making a few assumptions that that is the um, Golden Gate Bridge, by the way. It could be anywhere in the world, and I'm just making this up. So let's put that in the background. Let's color it in yellow. Almost like a movie effect, isn't it? Um, I'm going to add effects and I'm going to put that lift on again. And then position. And let's just send that backwards slightly. There you go. So I've not been particularly creative with the words and the images, but you get what I mean. So you could that could be an image of anything. And like I say, with this one, when you use the magic grab feature, if you wanted, that works quite well where you could actually kind of move her along a little bit as well. And it's just really clever because you wouldn't know really that I've um, that the image behind has been almost AI backfilled, like that water and the little bit of greenery. There's a few things that stand out, but it's pretty clever. So that's how you add text behind an object in Canva. It's ridiculously simple. There's two very easy ways. If you'd like to see more Canva tutorials or there's anything in particular that you would like to learn, let me know in the comments. And in the meantime, you're probably going to want to watch this video.